Hi everyone, welcome to this session. Today we will talk about data science. Are you also a data science aspirant? So let's get started. But before start the session, let me tell you, Great Learning has came up with a brilliant idea that is Great Learning Academy platform, where you will get almost 80 plus free courses. And after complete your course, you can claim your uh, certificate as well, right? While you are waiting, just go and use that as much as you can. And if you want to do the courses in the Great Learning app, there is a app that is called Great Learning app where you will get all the courses. The same course you will get in the Great Learning Academy as well. But in the app, you can use the offline mode as well and go and do all the uh, courses they are providing. Use the all of it and just skill up yourself with a new certificate, right? Now we will start talking about data science, right? If you are a data science aspirant, you should uh, watch the full video, right? Now let's let's go and let's have a look at what is data science, right? And why data scientist role becomes so popular with timing and what are the job they does, right? Now I will give you an example by which you can understand how data scientist works, right? So there is a brand called brandroot.com, okay? That's a basically an Indian e-commerce company who provides online purchase, okay? Now come they actually start facing a problem the problem is that they saw there is a down in their sales, right? But why this downfall in their sales? They are not able to find it out the reason, okay? So they are actually tensed that how can we increase the sell? What's the parameter for that? Our sales is directly dropping, okay? So the board member of the brandroot.com, they decide to call a data scientist to understand the trend of the sell and to understand what is the parameter for that they can uh, increase their sales, right? Uh, the thing they uh, decided, they called Olivia. Olivia is a data scientist. Being a data scientist, Olivia wants to understand the business problem first because what is the root cause of their sales? So she asks few questions that is like the relevant question to the company board members that what is the reason, uh, like the question that is related to sales, okay? To have a good understanding for the root cause of the problem. After the long meeting, she actually able to understand the business requirement. Then what she does, she try to collect the data, okay? Because she needs to analyze those data, right? The past data and analyzing those data, she will get the proper insights that why there is a direct fall in the sales, okay? So what she does, asks for the data to the board member and the company as well. And she tries to collect some data from various resources okay the web servers databases apis online repositories she use as much as she can she use her all the resources to uh, gather the data that purchase data right then what she does now she has a data but that data is an amount of data is massive right the data are unstructured they are not at all structured or semi-structured but she needs to understand that data, but in an unstructured or semi-structured data, it is not possible to understand the train, to understand the hidden pattern, the insights of the data, right? So what she does, she try to uh, like clean the data. When cleaning is coming, that's inconsistent data types, misspelled attributes, missing value, duplicate values. Uh, she handles all the thing, okay? After that, she convert her unstructured data to structured data. Now her data is ready to use, okay? In that data, by analyze that data, you will get the proper insights, proper hidden pattern. When I'm talking about hidden pattern, let me give you an example, right? Credit card fraud analysis, okay? So when we are trying to find the online transaction that is fraud or a genuine, that time we need to understand the data. By looking at the data, it is not possible to understand that transaction is a fraud or the transaction is genuine. In that time, we need to understand the data, the hidden pattern of the data. That is the thing I was saying that hidden pattern. She need to understand the hidden pattern. What's the hidden pattern we have in the purchase history for that she can understand that maybe we can do or uh, we can do something like this that will uh, actually works for the cells that will increase the cells, right? Now, she performed the exploratory data analysis. What is exploratory data analysis? Exploratory data analysis is a uh, like concepts of stats. We use some of the stats concepts to understand our data. 
to understand the attributes to understand the spread of our data okay how much our data is spreading what is the out layer of our data this is the uh, known as exploratory data analysis when you have a idea about your data when you know that maybe your data is like this you can make an assumption you can make null hypothesis right so these are the things we use in uh, exploratory data analysis okay we know our data then we know what kind of a like algorithm we should use right this time came into the picture machine learning and that time we need to uh, use our machine learning algorithms we have various type of machine learning algorithms like clustering problem regression uh, classification after you have a good understanding of your data you use the algorithm wisely okay and you train your model the same things i said in that that there is linear regression naive bias logistic regression decision trees knn and she tried to use all of them and or she, maybe she tried to find it out that what type of an algorithm will suit her data right after building the model she trained her model okay like processing of the data she came up with the idea maybe recommendation system can work for uh, increasing the sales right like analyzing says the recommendation system is if she is going to give that if you are going to buy a uh, shoe your recommendation system will say that maybe you can buy a socks right right maybe this is not necessary but you can think that maybe you can buy the stock so this is how it will increase the uh cells right so she came up with the idea that is recommendation history okay so what is the outcome of the recommendation system it enhances the customer shopping experience suppose you are buying a uh, shoes again but you don't need to find the socks right machine is directly giving you that maybe you can buy the socks so your experience will be high experience right your uh, like shopping experience will be good so you will like it right for the increment of the sales will be high right and it helps to forecast the sales prediction as well maybe using some other algorithm you can forecast your sales right that how many how much your sell will be in the upcoming days okay this is how actually uh, data science is helping us each and every time in our life right and this using this data science all of the company are capturing the data each and every moment we are capturing the data right like each and every moment when i'm saying you are making the data that means right uh, maybe when you start ordering the food right you are making the data and this is captured by the companies they can understand your trend they can understand the whole scenario uh, what's the like popular items they have right this is how they can try to forecast their sales in the upcoming days this is how actually data science is controlling our everyday life right okay so olivia has successfully completed her job role as a data scientist and she understand the business problem first then she go into some data uh, acquisition collecting the data then she clean the data then she understand her data how the uh, data is what the hidden pattern is there in their data then she use the machine learning algorithm wisely on that data and she get the proper a uh, way out how can she solve the problem right this is a whole scenario of a data scientist if you want to be a data scientist this will be your job okay so uh, i hope guys you can understand that what is a job of a data scientist and what are the process we have in the data scientist right let's see what are the company who are actually using the data science applications amazon right when you go for amazon it will show that this uh products you may like right we all are familiar with this line so this is how they are using the same thing they are you they are also using product recommendation system and th actually this product rec recommendation system helps them to increase their sales as well right now google map google map is one of the uh, most used data science applications it actually says uh, where uh, where is the traffic is high right where you can get the traffic is low according to that you can uh, like maintain your timing if you want to read somewhere right this is how uh, like google maps are actually helping us but this is also application of data science okay now comes the google translator so if you don't know the language right i don't know chinese or i don't know some spanish or french language but if i want to understand that what is written in that uh, suppose that uh, platelet right so for that we can use google translator it will translate that particular that sentence or that word for us in english or your 
uh, like whatever the language you want to see, right? So this is how data science is actually uh, like uh, controlling our life, you can say, and helping our everyday life, right? So thank you guys. Thank you so much for uh, listening the session. Before concluding the session, please go to Great Learning Academy platform where we will get almost 80 plus free courses for free. And after completing the courses, you can claim your certificate. That is also free, of course. Just go and grab it and skill up yourself. And they also have an app as well, Great Learning app, where you will get same content uh, that is in Great Learning Academy, but you will uh, access those content in offline as well, right? So please go and use the opportunity as you can. And thank you so much.